Oh man, I'm having a bad day. Okay, so this is the same problem that I ran into and why I stopped filming for such a long time. The online program, the free online program that I've been using to film these videos is now demanding money unless of course um, I want shorter videos. Okay, so they've kind of limited me to five minutes now per video and that's what they were doing before. I'm like, how am I going to make advanced functions videos in five minutes? So I'm sorry guys, I'm going to take each of these sections and split them up into smaller sections. Um, of five minutes because no way in hell I'm paying their money. Screw them. All right. Anyways, okay. Let's look on the brighter side of things. This is the last section uh, for chapter six. Okay, so 6.5 is continuing application questions. And we're going to go into logarithms um, that have to do with physical sciences now. We really need to know the 6.4 stuff that we learned in the last couple of videos. Let's review that first. So number one, evaluate each of the following logarithms. Guys, I know that it says evaluate and not solve, but you know what? Your teacher is going to flip the word all the time. They're going to go evaluate and solve whatever. So the thing is, pay more attention to what the question actually says. If there's an equal sign, it is an equation, and you're going to solve for this letter. Even if the letter isn't there, I mean, like, it was already isolated, so we could just figure out what this equals to, and you can use your calculator if you need to, and just punch it in. If you don't have your calculator, then you're going to have to start using the rules. So, I mean, that y equals 2 is not really that important. Let's focus on this part of the equation. So this has a base of 10, and we know that because it was invisible. And what we're going to do is that negative 1 in front is going to stay as a coefficient. We're going to evaluate what this is, which is done by making sure that these two bases are the same. So let's change that 1,000 into 10 cubed. Now the base of 10 of this is the same, and this green part is going to be equal to the exponent, which is just 3. So your final answer is the negative 3. All right, now the second part. Our unknown is here, and one mistake that I see students make all the time for some reason is they think that you can just divide a log on both sides. You cannot do that, okay? Log and x are very close together, kind of like sine x and cos x. You can't get rid of the sine and the cos by just dividing it out. All right, so in the last couple videos, we did learn that what we can do is if this is in log form, just change it to exponent form. 10 to the power of your exponent is equal to your answer. That's what's right here. Now you have the x isolated, which is fantastic. Okay, because now you can figure out with your calculator what x actually equals to. So 251.2. All right, so that's a little bit of a review. Now let's start actually applying it to these physical sciences. There are three major um, ideas that you can be tested on. Okay, so I would very much guarantee that on your test in the application section, you'll get either one, two, or I mean, maybe even three of these questions. There are pH scale questions, Richter scale questions, and decibel scale questions, and each one has its own equation, okay? The equations, I mean, hopefully you're given them, but if you're not, they're actually very similar. There's just really tiny differences, and I'm going to start off the next video showing you how to do the pH scale question.